welcome back everybody so this is gonna be a quick update video for you guys on stock market and before we get started please smash that like button and 100 plus likes on this video would be greatly appreciated guys and if you're new here consider subscribing now if you want to get my daily trade ideas swing trade ideas live trading and you want to support the channel definitely check out their link down below in the description for patreon welcome back everybody so what we got here on the stock market map we got dow jones going up slightly 0.16 percent we got nasdaq going down 0.85 percent s p going down 0.32 percent and russell going absolutely flat on the day and here's 11 sectors that make up s p 500 on top leading the way we have energy consumer defensive utilities basic materials so definitely a risk of moving in the market and that is not good for the bulls and especially people that actually trade these names like technology uh, consumer cyclical names like amazon tesla and all the other big tech names you can see it's down massively on the day so what we got here on stock market map while well, energy sector lighting up i actually had a big trade on chevron sold this morning locked in profit and you can see everything is green here on energy then we got tesla down over three percent amazon down one percent meta going down 1.42 percent google flat apple flat microsoft down almost one percent and nvidia uh, they do have earnings coming up it's down 2.31 percent so before we get started, there was no weekend updates. There was no mega cap update over the weekend. And the reason is likes. We need more likes. And that is why no updates coming out, guys. So, you know, I know a lot of you guys really appreciate and support my work. Some of you guys even posting profit, just watching the video and making money off of these videos. And when I see that, I really like it. And that is when, you know, I try to go above and beyond to put out more contents more regularly but when i see you know like people are not appreciating your work and definitely if you think like i'm putting out video for youtube money you're in the wrong channel because they don't pay nothing for these videos so the main thing is likes and that is the only way you can appreciate my video and i hope this video gets more than 150 likes now on cues what happened today you can see right here guys bar to bar from this bearish engulfing candle we got an inside day and today i mean even though we cracked under this support we actually made a bar to bar new low we did not actually take out this low which is 473 and also into closing holding this red line 50 sma which is sitting at pretty much exactly 475.34 so that is your line in the sand for tomorrow i would say 475 underneath that level we do have support here at 473 from this bearish engulfing candle and we can take that out i think we could see a quick trip down to this gap 465 so the trading is really easy here guys we actually can uh, break over this candle right here which is what uh 485 i would say uh give it until 486 over 486 extremely bullish for this gap will come into play uh, 493 easily can get there and possibly will hit brand new all-time high now as long as we're trading inside this candle and so far we are and not going under 473 not going under 475 50 day moving average this could be a trading range and uh, triple q can actually trade in between 473 and 486 so inside you can scalp calls or puts but once we get a better uh, direction and that would be breaking below 473 or getting over 486 getting over 486 should take triple q up to 493 and breaking under 473 should bring it down to this gap 465 and i think this is going to be a healthy route if that happens in the short term so uh, this is really easy to uh, see right now what's happening in the market and uh, because of earnings coming out from nvidia i think wednesday night correct me if i'm wrong and that is why you're seeing a lot of chop here in this market and uh, we're going to see that continuing tomorrow into wednesday session and then we will see a directional move here in this market especially here on nasdaq 100. and here's my x account and if you guys are on there definitely give me a follow and if you have any questions you can always reach out to me right here through this x account now here's a fantastic play that we actually held over the weekend and you can see baba was gapping up on friday 
and pretty much above 85 bucks we got 85 puts on it and this morning that was a massive over 250 percent ran up to 300 percent so this was a fantastic fantastic play and i'm not even sharing the day trade that we actually took today so all these trade ideas are real in real time especially if you want to support the channel and you're really serious about trading then definitely check out their link down below in the description for patreon on SPY ETF, it's down 0.24%. So this one here, if you look at my screen, look at this five day moving average, pretty much sitting at 560. So that is what SPY holding, and that is your key level. Also, we actually went higher today, almost 564, and it's getting really tight that we might hit a brand new all time high. We saw Dow Jones going up and hitting a brand new all time high today. So that can definitely happen, and it's on the card over 560. So. The longer time we spend over 560, there is a possibility of a hitting previous all-time high 565 and the weekly expected move is pretty much at brand new all-time high. So we can go to uh, 570, maybe even 572, that's possible on SPY ETF over 560. Now we crack under 560, stays under 560 and from this bearish engulfing candle, this thing can come down easily down to this uh, low down here, which is going to be near 555. And if that's out, then watch out for a dump off down to uh, 548 and then this gap 545. So even here on SPY ETF, things are really simple and clear to trade over 560. Looks to me that we might go up for this all time high, possibly brand new all time high like Dow Jones. And below that, there is a chance we might come back down to 555 and underneath that level your short position can be started right here and you can ride this all the way down to this gap uh, for uh, 545 on SPY ETF. On Dow Jones it's up 0.22% so it's barely up and this is where we actually shorted today at pretty much at 414 getting some 410 puts and boy oh boy this thing paid it was a nice day trade you guys saw that trade on BABA but this was icing on the cake another you know pretty much free money today because this thing was getting far too overextended on shorter time frame and it also was a gap up and go so you know when i saw it pre previously uh you know hitting that same level and getting a rejection even though we hit a brand new all-time high shorted the heck out of it and this thing paid i think it was like 40 percent and the runners were like uh, almost 50 percent so not a bad trade especially on a choppy day and uh dow jones paid and now you can see i mean it's pretty much holding over this level right here 411 this is where things will come into play under 411 watch out for the support down here 409.925 the moving average and below that we might be pulling back down to even 405 and then this gap comes into play 400 now the longer time we spend over i would say 409.92 to even 411 it's bullish and we might go up to that uh, previous all-time high which is going to be near 4 uh, 14 we did hit that today got rejection and over that this thing can move up even more up to 418 to 421 on IWM, it's absolutely flat on the day. Now, a lot of people, they have this uh, mentality right now that, you know, rate cuts are coming. And yes, it's so bullish for IWM. It's going to go to all time high. Some people are even buying calls, 300 calls. Well, first of all, I mean, it can happen. You know, I'm not denying that it cannot happen. Anything can happen on anything, not just on IWM. The second thing is when they're actually cutting rates and you see yield curve, going up on inverting what's going to happen one two three date cuts usually if and i'm not saying that's going to happen we don't have any kind of big indication if anybody has that that is jay powell and he can see that and he's not going to tell us what's happening he's not going to scare people he's not going to scare the market we all know that he loves the market he's not going to scare this market and say hey i see a recession get the heck out he's never gonna say that you know never this guy is always bullish now when the rate cuts are coming let's say you know why he's considering a rate cut right inflation well in his book or whatever they're reading those numbers you know oh yeah slightly coming down right okay rate cuts but if we're actually going even on a mini recession guys guess who does not actually survive recessions 
smaller companies. And what we have here on IWM, all these smaller companies, they're going to go bankrupt. Second thing, when to buy IWM, and these are my views. I think if there is a retracement, this thing goes back down with everything else. And if there is actually a correction in, uh, you know, a big sell off, uh, especially with rate cuts that comes within next maybe one or two years, it might take time. I'm not talking about some day trade, you know, you get in and the next day IWM at 300. I'm not talking about that or going down or crashing down to like 160 next day. That might be coming. So you tell me that, you know, on a recession, you think this is going up to 300? On a recession, stocks like CRM, software names, tech names, they survive. They always survive even if they go down. And when this thing bottoms out, which end of that rate cut cycle, like when they're done cutting rates and it's slashed down to like zero, that's when this thing goes up. Not, you know, like just when they start uh, like cutting. It's not gonna go up to all time highs and just hit brand new all time high, you know, just because they're starting, uh, you know, uh, cutting rates. But it can happen. And even if it does, that means that is a massive bull trap because they can trap more and more people by doing that. So, you know, both things are on the table, but usually that is not bullish. Rate cuts are not bullish. It seems like a lot of uh, people are new in here in this market. They think rate cuts are bullish because market is going up and market is reacting positively uh, to that rate cut. We have to think like how far this market came without any uh, sort of big correction, especially from uh, 2022 COVID crash, right? Uh, 2020, 2019 COVID crash. Since then, we have not seen any uh, kind of a big correction. Yes, we had that, you know, uh, rate hiking cycle back in 2022, we saw a bit of a bear market, but nothing big. I mean, it took a long time for uh, these ETFs and indices to go down that much, like NASDAQ 100, Q is going down to what, 250, 260, but it took less time to come right back up. So, you know, it's gone. But even that was a decent correction. If anybody was buying, yeah, that's totally fine. But now you're chasing here. You can see this Bollinger Band on IWM not even going up. It's coming down. So the move here on IWM, I think it's going to be in between uh, somewhat of this high right here, 228.63, and maybe even down to this gap for now, 208.75. Any negative catalyst from Powell, anything bad about economy, Guess who's gonna go down first? This thing right here on a gap down. What happened here? Just wanna remind you guys that a lot of bulls, oh, this is a breakout, I'm going long right here. What happened? You got a massive rug pull right here and look at these gap downs right here. Now, this was nothing of an event coming out of Japan, you know, nothing really big, right? But yet we saw a big, you know, move to the downside. Imagine something really happening here. We go through a recession, something happening, we can see a bunch of gap downs here. Within few days, this is only what, three days? Look at what happened here, guys. Within few days, it can go down to 200, 180, 160, it's possible. And I'm not saying I, I always like IWM, but this is not the time to go long. Unless we break over, 228.63 previous high we stay here for at least maybe i would say a couple days i would give like one week for some consolidation like it did and even you can see one week was not enough a lot of consolidation here guys lots of consolidation and what happened the result boom to the downside 196 so don't get caught chasing that's the message wait for the breakout wait for the confirmation and even if you played with that confirmation, make sure you have a tight stop loss here on this, uh, you know, play right here on IWM because you can see the Bollinger Band not really going up and nothing really lining up with this big move. We're also on a rising wedge structure that is bearish. And if that plays out, immediately we could see this gap getting filled. And what happened last time? A lot of people said, oh, it's a gap, you know, uh, gap and go. It's not going to come down here to close this gap. And I said, give time 
and it's gonna come back what happened well this gap is fully closed then we opened a new gap to gap up even more uh, to close that gap at 215 now we are closing this gap last week at 215 and now continuing to move even higher so IWM in my view if there is a chance this might be the chance on a pullback to buy the dip as long as the support holds but I'm not talking about going long term long term we played it and that was last year back in October when this thing was trading and dying right here this was a massive trade that I actually took but unfortunately did not make a lot of money because it was down and when this thing came back up I think it was like over 100% got out and then it was more like 500% that we actually uh, had on IWM so this was something that I would always be you know really interested not chasing you know near uh, 220 to 30 so IWM going into tomorrow's session watch out 220 level needs to hold and if this thing can hold we might see a push up to 225 to even 228.63 and that would be a breakout over that level under 220 we might see a drop down to 216 to 217 five day moving average and underneath that level we are coming back all the way down to 210 and then this gap might getting filled at 208.75 so VIX going up slightly and if you look at my screen not much really happening on VIX but it's kind of holding up not getting down to these lows down here where we saw VIX staying here for a long time so that is looking good also we saw I think that was on Friday bit of a spike back up to 18 got a rejection and now we got another uh, doji type candle so we need to get over I would say 18 bucks if that happens we could see this uh, volatility is spiking again. In that case, S&P 500 will definitely pull back even hard. So the dollar going green on the day. Now, a couple of things I want to show you guys. This $100 level on dollar. What happened before? Big spike. What happened here? Big spike. What happened here? Massive spike. What happened here? Same thing. Now it's back down to that 100. So this is going to be key level to watch. People that are chasing, you need to watch this right here on dollar if this thing decides to move up even higher we get something like this a three bar green candle then what happens guys s p 500 will pull back so watch out here on dollar 100 a big level of support but if this thing can push through 102 we might see 102.61 103 103.58 and from there this thing can push even higher and that's all i have for you guys in this video thank you so much for watching guys